What's up, freaks? This is Steve Says, episode number 101. We're past the century mark on the episodes. Episode 101, today we're talking about, I want to ask you this question. And when I'm saying men or husband, you can replace that with anything. You replace that with wife, with spouse, with woman, with freaking human. But I'm not going to say he or she all the time because that's, it's just no need for that. So I'm just going to say what type of, and we're specifically going to be talking about the project, which is a program only for men. But the stuff we're going to talk about today can be relatable to anyone, anyone. But I'm going to ask it in the form of to a man because we are going to be talking about what the project is all about. You hear me talking about the project all the time. So we're going to be going deep into what the project is all about. What's the purpose of it? What you, what men get out of it and how really women benefit from it as well. So the question I want to ask the men out there is what type of husband, what type of father, what type of leader, what type of man are you really? And the way we're going to ask those questions and talk about it is, 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 a, is in relation to the project and what the project is all about. Because you hear me talk about it and post about it all the time. I get tons of questions about it. So we're going to take a real deep dive into it and what it actually does for men, for their families, for their children, and for their futures. And Steve says it's not always what you want to hear, but this is the shit that you need to hear. Some people will hate, but most can relate. We are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. This is... Today, we're going to talk about who is the project for and, and how will it benefit you? And then if the project's for men only, how is it, how could it also benefit women? And then really, this is about, we're going to, we're just going to go through a, a straight through checklist on just being a man 101, a class on 101. And is that you? Are you living according to your character? Are you living according to the way you, you, you see yourself? Is it? congruent with the way you see yourself and the way you're actually living and acting out in your life. So this is Steve Says, episode 101, and this is a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset to allowing you to adapt, overcome, and destroy obstacles that are preventing your success in your health, your family, your finances, so that you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freaking terms. It's all about the mind, the body, and your business, the business of being yourself, the business of freaking life. Because you are the CEO of the business of you, of getting your shit together. It's your responsibility and no one else's, just yours. It's about having a role model mindset, how to operate with discipline, energy, confidence, being an action taker, and being your freak motherfucking self. That's what Steve says about, that's what we're going to talk about, and we're going to take a deep dive into the project. So before I even tell you about what the project is and what it's all about, I want to show you this tattoo here on the top of my hand. If you see it, I have that tattoo, a second one, and a third one here, no excuses. I never got a tattoo, and I really thought I probably never would get a tattoo. I was in the Marine Corps, never got a Marine Corps tattoo. I've started, had businesses with those, those logos you see of the dog right here, right up there, which ended up being this tattoo. Have kids, never got a tattoo until I was 41 years old and my very first tattoo was this logo of the project on the top of my hand. So no matter what I'm wearing, it's visible to me, it's a reminder, and it's just a relic. It's a relic. There is significance to the to logo of the project. We'll get to that a little bit later. But the, the point is, the project has had such an impact on me. And we and all of us instructors got this tattoo after the very first class of the project. We're now about to have class 010, class 10 coming up next week, starting Tuesday. But we got this tattoo after class number one. And that fucking tells you something. There was some major breakthroughs and it had such a huge impact on us. Even as instructors, they had such a huge impact on us that we went and got a tattoo after one class. We didn't even know if the project was going to, how many classes were going to be around, were we even going to get be able to do a second class. But it had such a meaningful impact for us as instructors, on our families, on our futures, on us as men. And then seeing the transformations of the very first class that we literally went out and got freaking tattoos like a bunch of drunken sailors going to just get it in port and getting some crazy ass tattoos because it's had such an impact. So that should tell you the significance and the meaning. And if you have any questions, comments, put them below. Mr. Wolf Project. Do all project graduates get the project logo tattoo? Not all of them. If you want to, you do. It's not like you have to get your tramp stamp once you graduate, if you graduate. And that's a very big fucking if. But a lot of them do. Some of them got it on their hand just like that. There's some, there's some that have huge across their backs. They're on calves. They're on forearms. There's been tons of guys, I've got, graduates have gotten the tattoo. But it's not like you 
graduate and you have to do it like it's it's a, a mandatory whatever so anyway talking about the project and just talking about and, and as i'm talking about this stuff about the project i want you to relate this stuff to all areas of life because this this fits to any area of life not just men and not just the project because the but, but if i had to have an overarching umbrella statement of what the project is all about like what's the purpose of the project it would be to be the type of man that one day your son wants to become and the type of man that one day your daughter would want to marry that's if you let her out of the house before the age of 40, which we won't. Just kidding. Sort of. But that's the sum. That's really what the goal of the project is. So why wouldn't that? That's really the goal of any man, if you think about it. So as we're talking in the context of the project, just to talk about what it actually is all about. It's really all about being a fucking man, being a role model, being a leader, being making yourself better every day, making yourself an even better husband, an even better father, an even better entrepreneur, manager, leader. Freaking man. And as I'm saying all these, you can also say an even better mother, wife, whatever, woman, and all that stuff. You can easily say it all. I'm not going to say it for everyone. That's the last time I'm going to mention that I'm not going to say it for everyone, but you get the point. So what is, again, breaking it down even more, the, the project overall is a fully immersive, a four day, it's, it's over 75 hours of physical, mental, and emotional experience for men where you get a chance to live and train and learn. With myself, who's a United States Marine and an entrepreneur, with a Navy SEAL, with a SWAT operator, with MMA, MMA fighters, martial artists who are also the vice president of supplement companies with business empire builders. And it's all about learning to kill your inner bitch and unleashing the beast that we know is within you as a man. Whether it's hidden and sleeping and dormant, we will extract that. We will take it out of you and teach you how to extract that beast and call upon that beast and kill the inner bitch. It's all about pouring decades of knowledge and experience into you so you can overcome those fears, doubts, frustrations, procrastinations, and use those past weaknesses as a fucking superpower moving forward. And this is done through a physical breakdown to have breakthroughs mentally, emotionally, socially, spiritually, and financially. This is what it's all about. So you can level up and dominate in your family, fitness, finances, and faith. And those are the four F-bombs of the, of the project. And when we say faith, we're not necessarily talking religion. If you have religious faith, that's great. It's obviously going to be a huge asset to you. But we're talking about faith in yourself. Faith in the universe. Faith in, in, your, in trusting the process that you're putting, doing, doing the due diligence in life. Leading you down the right trajectory towards where you want to go. That's what we're talking about. Faith. Faith in yourself. F belief in your motherfucking self. Trusting the process of yourself. Trusting your, your discipline. That you're living in the right, going in the right direction towards your goals. Faith and, and belief in your ability to reach your goals in the other F-bombs of the family, the fitness, and the finances. And until you're firing all four of those cylinders of the family, fitness, finance, and faith, until then, can you reach the secret, hidden, elusive F-bomb that we don't even mention. And that's motherfucking, not fucking, motherfucking fulfillment in your life. Until you are firing all those other cylinders, then you can have some fulfillment in your life. And it is based off that faith. It is based off the family, off the fitness. And we're talking fitness we're not just talking mental fitness. Fitness, we're talking about overall fitness, meaning, yes, your actual physical fitness, like working out, training, strength, and cardio, but also your nutrition, but also your mental fitness, your emotional fitness. That's what we're talking about. Those are all part of your fitness. People think in your head, they think that this is just mental. There's really no difference between mental and physical. Those are intertwined. They're the same fucking thing. Your brain, your heart are physical. That's what it's all about. Mr. Wolf. Wish we can go to class 010. 010 starts on freaking Tuesday. Wolf, I guess you're on 010, 011 in November. We got some a big class set up for November. So again, let's let's jump back into it. The four pillars, the, the four F bombs with a secret fit, hidden F bomb. So what what else? What is additional? The overview of the project, and really, it's it's having self awareness. Having the emotional intelligence, the mental toughness, mental resiliency. As you could see, this is shit you should have in your life at all, overall, together. And I'm just reading the comments as we're going on the Facebooks and the Tweetergrams and all that other stuff. But on top of that, what a couple things people don't know about the project, and this is stuff you should be doing anyway, is there's a full onboarding program. Like if you if your class is out months like Wolf, Mr. Wolf is, is out in February, He's, he has access, a username and password to a fitness training app where he has a workout every single day that he can do 
all these months leading up to February. He also has access to this weekly live Zoom video training workout that I run on the onboarding program where we're live on camera every single week for all these months leading up to that class. But here's the, the additional thing most people know about the project and something that's missing in men these days. So the two reasons, the two main reasons why we even started the project, there's five of us instructors. We all kind of put this thing together as a side project, which is why it's called the project. We all were doing full-time things at the time and just doing it on the side. And this thing came, came together in this explosive adventure and experience that you see as the project. The main two reasons is because men, we've talked to so many men and men as grownups, 30, 40, 50 years old, that never had positive male role models as kids, never had positive male role models as kids. And they're now adults and they're still not knowing how to now be that positive male role model themselves. So they're going to keep going on and on and they need to break the motherfucking cycle. That's what they need to do. And actually I'm starting a, a new, a live show tomorrow. This is Steve says on Tuesday, Wednesdays is going to be a show called Breaking the Cycle with the Two Little Freak Show Kids. We're going to be doing it every week, me and the two little kids. It's all about having a role model mindset, breaking the cycle and being a positive male role model in your kid's life. It's going to be me and the Two Little Freak Show Kids every Wednesday. That's tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific. That's not going to be the regular time, but tomorrow that's the time because we got the project the next week. So we won't be able to do that next week. So that was the first reason why we started the project because men grew up as men and as children, kids, they never had a positive male role model. The majority of men that we've come across time and time again, literally I'm talking to dozens and dozens. Now it's up in the hundreds and thousands that I've spoken to over the last few months that had no positive male role model as kids. So that's about the first reason we started the project. The second reason is now that we're adults, men don't have that group of other like-minded men who are on the same thought process as them who they can turn to for support and camaraderie, like-minded men and a place where they can be themselves, be vulnerable and not, not be afraid to be themselves and have other dudes that are going to hold them accountable when they're starting to slack off and slip up. Because once you join the, once you graduate the project or if you graduate the project, and again, that's a big fucking if you literally become part of this ongoing lifelong brotherhood of just hungry, successful, motivated, kick ass men of motherfucking fire from all different industries, from all over the country and even all over the world. There's already several different countries where we have graduates from and we have regular interaction with each other because men need to be around other men. You need to. Of course, you need to obviously be around women and, and, and families and whatever else. But men need to be around other men. It's just the way it is. Back to the old tribal days. It's just the way it is. You have to. And if you're not, there's something that's going to be missing. You're not going to have that camaraderie and that brotherhood. And it's fucking needed. And it's really something even that is a different level even than, the, than in the Marine Corps. The camaraderie of the Marine Corps. Of course, that was a great camaraderie. And even decades later... Still stay in, in touch with a lot of Marine Corps brothers. But when you go into the Marine Corps, you're a teenager. I was fucking 19 years old. They're telling you when to eat, sleep, shit, shave, shower, everything. It's, so, it's just fucking easy because you're getting told when to do everything. So easy being told when to do it. But then as you become an actual adult, or I use that, that term fucking loosely, you become an adult, you have... Families and priorities and businesses and teams you got to lead and real world fucking problems. It's a whole different level. It's now up to you to figure that shit out. And if you're trying to go with that shit alone and just figure it out on your own, that shit ain't going to work out. You need to have that brotherhood. You need to have that camaraderie of other men, of other kick ass men to support you and hold you accountable and help you keep your shit together. We've all started the project because we've even had tons of veterans come through the program, even special forces. Veterans come through the program, firefighters, lots of firefighters, even had uh, active police officers come through because they started to realize as men, they just fucking lost that spark and they need to get that spark back. Men need to get that spark back in general in the fucking world. They, 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 that, the, the passion, the fire, the life is, is, is being sucked from them, from the bullshit that goes out on there, out there in the world and, and the bullshit that goes on the, the internets and the social medias. It's fucking just stripping manhood from men and they miss it they want it they need it and the only fucking solution is is getting around other men of fire that's what it is. It needs to be on other sometimes intense men of fire who are gonna hold you accountable we're gonna call you on your bullshit 
Make sure you're not bullshitting. Make sure you're not slipping up. And also just providing mentorship, providing brotherhood, providing guidance and tools and proven strategies to level up in those F-bombs, the family, the fitness, the finance, the faith. That's what it's about. Men these days and humans also need to learn how to generate internal motivation, internal energy, internal discipline, not just from external sources, not just being forced to be disciplined or threatened or whatever else, not just being motivated by some outside source. You need to be motivated from fucking here, from here, from inside yourself. Learn how to get to generate, generate internal motivation, how to generate energy, how to generate your own fucking self-discipline. That's what men need. They don't have it anymore. They get it in, in waves and, and a, a, a dumps of adrenaline and dumps of dopamine. Those dumps of dopamine are not cutting it. They're not doing you justice. You need to slowly, just like anything else, consistently flow dopamine because you dump it and it just, it, it, that's where you get those ups and fucking downs and, and uh, good days and bad days. You need to have good days every motherfucking day. That, and the way you have good days every day is by generating your own discipline, generating your own energy, generating your own fucking motivation. That's the way you do it. So when it comes to the project, when it comes to just life in general, this shit we're talking about, this the, the project will manifest a, cult, a culture of leadership and ownership and accountability and candid motherfucking feedback on all different levels. Where you'll become wired to generate internal motivation rather than always waiting for some external sources to motivate you. That's what it's all about. And this, let me tell you, this will occur. And it needs to occur through some pain and suffering and hardship and sacrifice and high stress, challenging and chaotic situations that are going to encourage problem solving, critical thinking and freaking decision making. All while maintaining emotionally centered during the everyday chaos. That's how you survive the fucking real world. That's how you do it right there. That's how you do it. And these evolutions that we do are, are just proven to, and highly effective in breaking down those personal barriers, breaking you down to build you back up, break down to have breakthroughs and operate as your full potential as a fucking man because there's not enough of it out there in the world. And I talk to the men every fucking day and it's sad and it's depressing and it's fucking pathetic to a point. We're talking about walking away with immediately implementable real world tactics and strategies to help you overcome all these previous personal struggles and roadblocks, all while finding and finding and exploiting hidden opportunities for learning and growth and evolution and fucking profit. That's what we're talking about. Taking a deep dive into the foundation of your life and your past and your history. With the foundation of your life and a highly immersive and granular approach to focusing on extreme attention to detail in all areas of your life. This is shit men fucking need. And you need to hear. And you need to start doing that shit right now, whether or not you're going into the project. You need to be doing that. Is it going to be easy? Fuck no. Is it going to be life changing? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. So what are our men actually going to get out of the project? First off, just imagine what life will be like about having that fucking fire back in all areas of your life, in your personal relationships, in your business, in your career, just in yourself, in your personal freedom, in your decision making. Just imagine that, having that unfaith, that unbreakable attitude where you can do or be or have anything that you're willing to fucking work and bust your ass for. Imagine that. Imagine a day like that. On the fitness side, imagine that if it, not only your physical body, but your emotional resilience and your mental toughness, having that again. Imagine on the family side, having healthy relationships with your family, your spouse, your kids, your fucking goat, and the respect and the admiration of the people you're leading because you're doing it the right way for once in your freaking life. Or in your finances, finally building wealth and business success and financial freedom, whatever that means to you. Personal freedom, whatever that means to you. Building generational wealth up ahead. Becoming an even better husband, an even better father, an even better man, a better communicator, better listener, become a better fucking leader, learning to use past struggles and failures, traumatic events, whatever it is, whatever else you uncover as your superpower going forward rather than a crutch. Imagine that. That's the way men need to start thinking. You need to start ha having a twist in your perspective. You talk about that all the time, your perspective, just switching the way you fucking look at it. But also on the physical side, learning basic self-defense and striking and grappling and weapons and firearms training and, and room clearing. 
but also how to deal with chaos and adversity of everyday life. How to give and receive feedback, transmitting and receiving feedback. Men don't do it. They just hold it to themselves and they get resentful and act like little fucking gossiping bitches. It's disgusting. Of being afraid to deal with conflict and avoiding confrontation. We're talking about mental, physical, and emotional challenges. Mental toughness, resilience. But also how to work out, how to stay healthy, how to eat healthy. How to stay strong and fit and, and well-balanced in all areas of life. This is the shit men need to start doing. Are you doing all this stuff, men? Probably not. Probably not. And you need to. Whether or not, this is not even about the project anymore. This is about men and the shit you need to be doing out there. Pushing yourself and pushing others harder than you've ever been pushed before. Than you ever even imagined that was possible for you to push. And doing things you never even imagined were fucking capable of doing. Doing the impossible. Shit that you previously thought was impossible are, need to become your new reality and your new fucking baseline. That's where you need to start operating. I talk to men for the project and they talk about $12,000 is too expensive. I'm going to have to maybe sometime in the middle of next year to get $12,000. I'm like, listen, if you're thinking and you're a business owner or you're a manager, or even have any fucking job and you think it's going to take you six months, eight months, a year to have an additional $12,000 of expendable income. It's not even expendable to invest in yourself. You're already thinking way too fucking small. That's exactly why you need to sign up for the project now. You need to beg, borrow, and steal to get to the project if that's the way you're thinking. If you're thinking that it's going to take you six or eight or ten months or a year to get $12,000, you're thinking way too fucking small and you'll never get there. You're going to just be suffering and struggling your entire life, living a life of mediocrity. You should be thinking, how can I get $12,000 before the end of business today? A year from now, you need to be thinking, how can I get an extra hundred, two hundred? thousand how can i get an extra million two million that's the fucking way you need to be thinking think bigger motherfuckers like stop letting the world and society drag you down and make you think so fucking small that's what the project is about building the self-awareness to start thinking a little different thinking from a different bigger picture from an outside view getting outside eyes on the bullshit that you're doing the bullshit the way you're operating the bullshit stories you're telling yourself in your life that's self-awareness but the project's also about building bonds with brothers and having camaraderie with like-minded, high-performing, freak show men of fire that separates the average men from the extraordinary. Let me tell you, average and mediocre are a lot fucking harder than extraordinary and fucking awesome. It's a lot harder. I will tell you that shit. Talking about leadership and communication skills, knowing your life's visions and your core values and living according to them. We have a project creed that we follow. And that's all about your life's vision, your mission, your values, your goals, all that stuff. Leveling up in your family and your relationships. This is what we're talking about when it comes to the project. I get asked all the time, what is it about? Why is it so expensive? What is that? Motherfuckers will spend money on, on renovating their bathroom, 10, 15, 20, 30,000 dollars, paving their damn driveway, spending money on going out to eat hundreds and thousands of dollars a month and just going out to eat bullshit but then when it comes to investing in yourself oh it's too expensive i can't afford that's expensive why would i ever do that because it's your you you motherfucker you need to invest in yourself before you invest in anything else above anything else you are your most important client you are the most important investment you need to be looking into it's time to to to, to nut up or shut shut up or nut up nut up or shut up whatever the hell the saying is if you're not happy with where you are in life and know you're capable. You got that burning feeling in your stomach. And know you're capable so much more. Stop. Quit bitching and complaining. Raise your fucking hand. And quit the bullshit. Shut the hell up. Stop being a punk. And just do something about it. For once in your life. Do something. Stop procrastinating. And, 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 and starting things and not finishing them. Setting goals and never achieving it. Cut that shit. It ain't cool. Stop making freaking excuses and blaming others for your circumstances. That you can control. Stop avoiding change. And running away from change and complaining about change. Because listen, everything in the world is always freaking changing. Everything is constantly changing. Just accept it. Stop losing control of your own freaking emotions. The only thing in the world you can control is your mind, your thoughts, your character, and your reaction to shit. So stop losing control of that shit. That's all you can control. Once you lose control of that, you're just fucked. You're just fucked. Just bash your head against a wall while you're at it. Quit, quit talking shit about yourself. Quit talking shit about other people. Because if you, if you don't respect yourself, how, how's anyone else going to fucking respect you? How are your kids going to respect you? You're bullshitting and half-assing shit in life. Then on the flip side, stop talking shit about other people. Especially when you're not there. Stop being a, a, a whining, bitching, little bitch-ass motherfucker. Like, you have an issue. Speak up face-to-face. -face, like, in person. Eye contact. In person with another man. Man-to-man. -man. Like, think about it. 
It doesn't happen anymore. People hide behind the internet. They hide behind the social medias. The shit that people talk to me on the Instagram and the comments you get sometimes and the, and the pr- private messages, it's fucking disgusting. It's funny. It's comical. It's entertaining. But it's fucking disgusting that men actually operate that way. It's time to cut that shit. That shit ain't cool. That shit ain't cool. Men, quit avoiding obstacles. Quit avoiding your fears. And quit avoiding confrontation. The building is burning. Run towards the motherfucking burning building. Run towards the gunfire. We say in the project, attack the hill. We don't slow down when we see a roadblock or an uphill or a battle or a struggle. We attack that motherfucker. Full force. Viciousness. With ferocity. That's the way you need to do it. That's the way you need to be operating. Stop living in the past. Stop living in the fucking future even. Get over your fucked up little childhood. Put on your big boy pants. Boo fucking who. Get over that shit. Stop worrying about what might happen next in your life, in your career, or in a week, or in a year. And deal with right fucking now. Make right fucking now awesome. Because today is motherfucking awesome. And men stop realizing that right now is fucking awesome. Your life is fucking awesome. You are fucking awesome. That's the way you need to start thinking about it. Quit that bullshit. Whining and bitching about the past. Over it. Get over it. It's time. It's time. It is time. Stop being that fake motherfucker. Be yourself. Who you want to be. That personal freedom to be yourself. Start living your own freaking life. Not someone else's. Start living your own damn life. Quit the bullshit. This is what the project is all about. Stop being an ungrateful prick for your life. And, and, and your life is so hard. Motherfucker, you don't know what a hard life is. Go to Afghanistan and see what a hard life is. You think life is hard. You think life is fucking hard. You think it's hard. Quit your bullshit. Stop flip-flopping and, and just being a, a whining, complaining freaking bitches. Like, step it the hell up. This is what you need to think. Great men choose to suffer. Great men suffer for purpose, for, for influence, for significance. Because no, no great success has ever been achieved without a significant level of suffering, sacrifice, pain. That's what it's all about. That's what the product is all about. To raise your energy level, to adapt, overcome, and destroy obstacles, preventing your your, light, your success in life. Stop wasting this fucking minute. Stop wasting today worried about tomorrow. Stop wasting today crying about yesterday. Mommy and daddy didn't love me. Mommy and daddy didn't talk to me. Get the fuck over it. Big boy pants on. Time to step up as a fucking man. Let's do it. It's all about a rebirth and transformation. Going from a bitch to a beast. That's what it's about. It's about suffering and sacrifice to a transformation. It's about flipping the switch to become a civilized, savage servant. That's the way men need to be thinking. Whether or not you're in the project or not, take these words and think it through. Let it sink into your freaking brain. That was a song. Take these words and think it through. Or the next rhyme I might might be about you, motherfucker. I don't even remember what song it's from. It's from something. Anyway, you get the point. It's time to step it up. It's time to be better today than you were yesterday. It's time to be better tomorrow than you were today. Getting better all the time. That's what the product is all about. It's an experience. It's not just an event. It's not a supportive thing. It's a fucking experience. It's a lifestyle that whether or not you're enjoying the product, we want that to be infectious to all the men out there. We want you want it, want it to affect your life so you can become an even better husband, an even better father, an even better leader, an even better man. Transform. Transformation. Level up. Kill the inner bitch. Unleash the motherfucking beast. That's what it's about. Enduring extreme hardship to transform yourself and have a rebirth. That's what it's like to join the brotherhood. The modern day night. The MDK brotherhood of the project. Anyway, I got to get rolling. I got to get a call. I got to get on. I just wanted to really go overboard and sink, let this shit sink into men's heads about where you should be. The op- level you should be operating in life. I got a roll. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. I will talk to you later. In case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. If you want some more information on the project, send me a message. We'll jump on the phone. We will talk about it and see if you are a good fit to join the MDK Brotherhood. Send me a message. Let's talk. We'll jump on the interview. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.